So what are the best handguns that were new in 2017? We'll stick around and we'll show you. Hey guys, Trey here with Ghost Tactical to do my year in review of the best handguns that came out in 2017. Now this might not be the official list by the experts, but uh, this is my list of my favorite handguns that came out in 2017 that I've actually had the opportunity to shoot throughout the year. So I'm looking forward to uh, talking about these a little bit more and let's get started. Alright guys, coming in at number 5 is... Is as you know, I am not the biggest revolver fanboy. I, it's not that I dislike them; I just prefer semi-auto over revolvers. But coming in at my number five is a great concealed carry option. It is the Colt Cobra. It is chambered in 38 Special, and it is a plus P compatible. Um, it's a uh, stainless steel frame with a Hogue rubber grip, and the uh, the grip really feels good. Uh, this gun, all in all, feels really good in your hands. It is a very good shooting gun. Uh, it's a great option for concealed carry, like I said. Uh, the barrel length is 2 inches, and the overall length is just over 7 inches, uh, with the weight coming in at about 25 ounces. It is a double-action revolver that has a capacity of 6 rounds. Uh, like I said, this is a phenomenal option if you're looking to get into the concealed carry, and uh, you do like revolvers. This is, uh, this is about as good as it's going to come for 2017 as far as a concealed carry revolver. Um, I enjoyed shooting this, and uh, it's a great option. So number five is the Colt Cobra. Coming in at number four in 2017 for my picks of uh, handguns of the year is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. Uh, a lot of people said that this was Smith & Wesson's uh, version of the Glock 17, and to a certain extent it probably is. It is a full-size gun. It is a polymer frame gun with the uh, stainless steel slide and barrel. Um, the one that I am showing here is the 9mm. It does come in a 40 Smith & Wesson and a 45 ACP model as well. But like I said, this is their full-size model. Um, the capacity for the 9mm is 17 plus 1. The barrel length is going to be 4.25 inches. And the weight is going to be 24.7 ounces. Uh, the great thing about this is it comes with four different interchangeable uh, grip inserts that will fit pretty much anybody's hands. Uh, so if you're looking for a gun that is going to be very, very similar to the Glock 17, but you just don't like Glocks for whatever reason, or you love Smith & Wesson like I do, uh, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal gun. The trigger pull is going to be about 5.5 pounds. And like I said, this is going to be a phenomenal gun. It is a full-size gun. I guess you could probably carry it concealed if, if you wanted to. But uh, it's going to be a fun gun to take to the range. It's going to be a great gun to put uh, in the nightstand for home defense or a truck gun or whatever. It is a full size, like I said, and it does come in 9mm, 40 Smith, and 45 ACP. So my number four for 2017 is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0. My number three for 2017 was a highly anticipated gun that came out of SHOT Show and everyone was talking about it. It seems to be the love child of a 1911 and a 9mm. So guys, if you're uh, one of those people that were waiting for Glock or someone to come out with a 1911 chambered in 9mm, um, this very well could be the gun for you. It is the Hudson H9. I have never been the biggest 1911 fan, but I am a huge 9mm fan, so this gun is intriguing to me, and I was able to shoot it here in the summertime. Uh, it actually is a really cool gun to shoot. Um, it is a 1911 style trigger. It's going to have an integral uh, trigger safety in there, but for you uh, 1911 guys that love the thumb safety, uh, there is going to be an ambidextrous thumb safety as well. Uh, this is a striker fire design chambered in 9mm, which is kind of awesome. Um, like I said, it does have the thumb safety that you can have. 
as all 1911s uh, seem to be the most customizable gun there is as far as grips go. This is going to be no different. You're going to be able to have a wide variety of interchangeable grips for, uh, for your 1911s should you choose to do so. Uh, it, this is uh, not just the thumb safety being ambidextrous, but the, uh, the entire uh, operation of the gun is ambidextrous. So you can shoot it whether you're left-handed or right-handed. Uh, it does come with an accessory rail that uh, you can add a light or a laser to uh, should you want to do that. Um, the uh, barrel length of this is going to be 4.28 inches with the overall length of being just over 7.5 inches. Um, you're talking about the, uh, the weight of the gun is going to be about 34 ounces. Uh, it is a 15 plus 1 capacity, chambered in 9 millimeter. Like I said, um, it's going to come with a, a Trigicon HD front sight. Um, the trigger pull is going to be anywhere from 4.5 to 5 pounds. So guys, if you are looking for a 1911 that's chambered in 9 millimeter, uh, this guy's could be the gun for you. It is a phenomenal gun. It's a good looking gun um, for, for my eyes. Uh, I enjoyed shooting it, and uh, this is a great one. So, guys, my number three for 2017 is the Hudson H9. All right, guys, my number two on the list for 2017 is the Glock 19 Gen 5. Uh, we've talked about this, and uh, it's also on the list of one of the best-selling guns of 2017. It came out uh, during the summertime, and it was uh, highly anticipated by the Glock family. Um, it has about 20 different variants from the previous generation, the Gen 4. The, the biggest difference that came out that kind of split the field between loving it and hating it was obviously the grip with no finger grooves. I personally like the finger grooves, but my favorite generation is a Gen 3. But a lot of people loved the uh, Glock 19 now with the Gen 5 that do not have the finger grooves. So if that's something you're looking for, uh, this this Glock 19 might be the one for you. Uh, like I said, it is chambered in 9x19. Um, the barrel length is going to be um, about f just over 4 inches at 4.02 inches. The uh, overall length is going to be just over 7 inches. The weight is going to be right at 24 ounces, at 23.99 ounces. It's going to give you the great uh, size of the Glock 19, which is my favorite uh, pistol. Uh, if you've never had a Glock and you're looking to get into a Glock, but you didn't like the finger grooves, check out the Glock 19 Gen 5. The uh, trigger pull is mostly standard with most Glocks. It's 5.5 pounds. Um, and it's a 15 plus 1 capacity. Now, you can obviously get different mags for most of these guns, but this uh, this gun comes with a standard 15 plus 1 mag. So, guys, my number 2 for 2017 is the Glock 19 Gen 5. All right, guys. So, now, my number 1 new handgun of 2017 uh, I've talked about this. This shouldn't be a huge surprise to most of you. I've talked about this. I got a chance to shoot this last month. Um, this will probably be a big runner for uh, the newest addition to the collection, maybe in 2018. Uh, it is the Smith & Wesson MMP 2.0 Compact. A lot of people say that this is Smith & Wesson's uh, version of the Glock 19. And if it is, then bravo. This is a phenomenal gun. It's a great looking gun. Um, but it is definitely a gun that you can uh, carry concealed. Um, it's got everything that Smith & Wesson m and has uh, put out for years. And uh, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal gun. Let's kind of go over the specs a little bit. The frame uh, is a polymer-based gun with the barrel and slide being stainless steel. Uh, the capacity is 15 plus 1. Uh, the barrel length is exactly 4 inches. The overall length is 7.3 inches. Uh, it does have the front and rear sights are white dot. It is a striker fired pistol. The weight is exactly 24 ounces, obviously unloaded. Uh, the trigger pull is going to be right at 5 to 5.5 pounds of trigger pull. 
Uh, this gun, like I said, it's a beautiful gun. It does have the features that people have come to know and love with Smith & Wesson and the MMP series. Um, it's got a uh, very good grip texture on it. Uh, it, it comes with, uh, four interchangeable, uh, palm swell grip inserts. Uh, they'll basically fit any size hand, uh, so you can find the one that's going to be comfortable for you. Uh, but the gun itself is a beautiful gun. It is optimal for, um, for concealed carry. It is not a subcompact, but it is a compact. Like I said, it is basically the same size as a Glock 19. So if you love the Glock 19 um, size and all of that, but you may not be a Glock fan and you are a Smith & Wesson fan, go check out my number one gun of 2017 is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 Compact. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video of my favorite handguns that came out in 2017. Like I said, this is by no means a list uh, from the industry or the experts out there, but uh, this is my list of the 2017 handguns. I shot all of these guns and really enjoyed shooting all of them. There were a lot of great guns that did come out in 2017 that didn't make the list, so I invite you to check out all the guns that came out. But this is my personal top five handguns of 2017. I hope you guys had a great 2017, and I really look forward to going to SHOT Show in 2018 and bringing you all the new guns that are going to be coming out then. Guys, have a happy new year. Semper Fi. Hey guys, Ghost here. Just want to say thank you for watching this video and your continued support of the channel. Please check out our website, www.ghosttactical.us, to see all of our ventures, including Patreon. We also invite you to check out gunchannels.com. Once again, thank you for your support. Until next time, Simplify.